All right, we're here with Marc Gasol, yeah. NBA champion, FIBA World Cup champion. I feel like we need some, some wine for you or something. Do we have any rosé for Marc? No, no, please. <laughs> You've had enough? Uh, no, it just, it just happened the day that when, we, when we win. And the only one is when we win the championship. So let's talk about that. What, a, about what, that, a, what uh, a summer this has been. There aren't too many guys yeah. that go from winning an NBA championship to a FIBA World Cup in, what, yeah. three months? What, yeah. what was that like for you? Um, intense, intense. Uh, you know, you, you invest so much into the game. Um, you know, it feels awesome um, to do it in, in two different levels uh, and, and, and two completely different competitions in, a, in, sh in such a short period of time. Um, but now, you know, if, if I feel like, okay, we move on into, into, into this season and, uh, and get ready and, and invest and, and start training again, and, and, and I'm very excited. Have you had the time even to reflect on it? Not really, not really. I'm just, um, you know, uh, trying to, like, okay, next, like, you know, when, when it's good or bad, uh, um, players, we tend to just go on to the next challenge right. and because that's what you focus on. Um, and that's sort of where I'm at. I'm like, okay, uh, here's our next challenge, and uh, and I'm ready for it. Well, it was a memorable summer, obviously, but it Correct. was a busy summer. You didn't have much time off yeah. uh, before the World Cup or, or after the World Cup going yeah. into the the season here, the training camp. Mm -hmm. D do you feel it physically at all? Um, I'm sure. I, I don't. I don't pay attention to it much. Um, but uh, you know, it's, it, you have to put in the work again. Uh, you don't have have time. Haven't had the time to build that foundation uh, as you would like uh, during the summer, um, but but now is the time to do it. Now you have a time, uh, pr pretty much uh, three four weeks before the season starts, so um, it's a good time to um, build that you know the tank up again, um, get in uh, in great shape uh, because it's you know it's going to be a lot of games. And, uh, and and we are very you know very excited. Do you and the team have to manage things any differently? The training camp early in the year, just in terms of minutes, workload. We, you know we have a great medical team, yeah. and uh, and I allow them obviously to to lead that and, and and figure out with the coaching staff. So you know it's up to them. Uh, whatever they they feel like I need to do, I'll obviously do it and and uh, and at 100 percent. Before we get to the Raptors in the season, uh, the World Cup this summer uh, there were a lot of players in the nba specifically north american players that declined to go to china and, and participate yeah. you chose to represent your country as you've done so many times before what, what was that something that was important to you uh, i would never you know i would never try to judge all the players um for choosing whatever choice they make because there's no wrong choice if you right. really think about it. I mean, you want to, uh, if you take the summer off to, to work on your body, to work on, on, on your skill, um, to get ready for next season, whatever, you know, the challenge for next season is, um, you, you obviously have to, or spend time with your family. <laughs> that's, that's awesome too, right? Yeah. Um, but in, on, on my side, I felt that, that responsibility, uh, um, that I felt every summer. Uh, we have a great gr group of guys. We have a, a strong core, and uh, at the same time, that was the first year that uh, the older guys, that we call the '80s generation, um, didn't play. So you know, I felt also that extra responsibility of passing on um, that legacy into you know the the new guys, in, into the Hernan Gomez brothers, into the younger you know players. So um, that you know. That commitment, you can only show it by example. <laughs> so you, if you tell the guys, yeah, you're going to be committed to the national team and don't show up, um, that's not, not, not a great example. So, you know, it was, it was unexpected uh, that we won it. Um, but, you know, we did it uh, as a team. And, uh, and every time we confronted adversity, uh, we confronted it as a team. And, uh, and normally, you know, that gives you a good feeling um, either way. If you win or lose, when you do stuff um, as a unit, it um, feels much better. You got here last year at the deadline and first ever time you've been traded. I'm sure it came with its challenges. You had to move, yeah. you, your family had to move, yeah. and you're picking up the plays and building chemistry on the fly. How much easier for, for you will it be this year now starting from day one from training camp? Um, you know, I think you pick up where you left off, and uh, and, and the concept that uh, Coach Nurse and, and his coaching staff have, um, all the little details, uh, defensively, you know what we what we're trying to accomplish, all that stuff, it doesn't, it's not going to take us as, as much because you, you just know what what they mean uh, when. Uh, so you know, 
that that's easy. The way to read players' body language, that's going to be a lot easier too because you already know them. Um, you already have that chemistry, that trust, um, that, uh, that, that it takes a little bit of time to build. Um, but again, I'm, I'm here to help um, every single player be a better player. I'm here to help the, the team accomplish its goals, and, uh, and that's the only reason I play. Well. Nobody's had a busier summer than Marcus Gasol. Nobody has won more than Marcus Gasol this <laughs> summer. And the Raptors, I'm sure, are looking forward to having you back. Thanks, Mark. Thank you so much.